The full moon has a reputation for trouble. It raises high tides. It makes dogs howl. It wakes you up in the middle of the night with beams of moonlight stealing through the drapes. If a moonbeam wakes you up on the night of May 5, 2012, you might want to get out of bed and take a look. This May's full moon is a supermoon, as much as 14% bigger and 30% brighter than other full moons of 2012. The scientific term for the phenomenon is perigee moon. Full moons vary in size because of the oval shape of the moon's orbit. The moon follows an elliptical path around Earth with one side, perigee, about 50,000 kilometers closer than the other, apogee. Full moons that occur on the perigee side of the moon's orbit seem extra big and bright, such as the case on May 5th at 11.34 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, when the moon reaches perigee. Only one minute later, the moon will line up with the Earth and the Sun to become gloriously full. The timing is almost perfect. Okay, the moon is 14% bigger than usual, but can you really tell the difference? It's tricky. There are no rulers floating in the sky to measure lunar diameters. Hanging high overhead with no reference points to provide a sense of scale, one full moon can seem much like any other. The best time to look is when the moon is near the horizon. For reasons not fully understood by astronomers or psychologists, low-hanging moons look unnaturally large when they beam through trees, buildings, and other foreground objects. On May 5th, this moon illusion will amplify a full moon that's extra big to begin with. The swollen orb rising in the east at sunset will seem super indeed. Folklore holds that all kinds of wacky things happen under the light of a full moon. Supposedly, hospital admissions increase, the crime rate ticks upward, and people behave strangely. The idea that the full moon causes mental disorders was widespread in the Middle Ages. Even the word lunacy, meaning insanity, comes from the Latin word for moon. The majority of modern studies, however, show no correlation between the phase of the moon and the incidence of crime, sickness, or human behavior. The truth is, the moon is less influential than folklore would have us believe. It's true that a perigee full moon brings with it extra high perigean tides, but according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, this is nothing to worry about. In most places, lunar gravity at perigee pulls tidewaters only a few centimeters, an inch or so, higher than usual. Local geography can amplify the effect to about 15 centimeters, 6 inches. Not exactly a great flood. Super perigee moons are actually fairly common. The moon becomes full within a few hours of its closest approach to Earth, about once a year on average. The last such occurrence occurred on March 19, 2011, producing a full moon that was almost 400 kilometers closer than this one. As usual, no trouble was reported. That is, unless you count a midnight awakening as trouble. If so, close the drapes on May 5th. Otherwise, enjoy the super moonlight. For more news about big bright things in the night sky, visit science.nasa.gov.